Since I posted what happened to Pedro Munoz's eye, I got flooded comments about this. I've seen videos posted about this. Even Sean O'Malley himself posted both on Twitter and Instagram that he landed an overhand in the first round, but it damaged the left eye. Pedro Munoz's right eye was fine. Therefore, he faked it all and he wanted a way out. Well, you know me, I'm here to post the truth of it all. And we have evidence now. Pedro Munoz released his medical reports from the doctors themselves. And it is in fact his right eye his right eye that has a scratch on the cornea, and this puts it all to rest. It was very silly for people to question Pedro Munoz's character, to call him a coward, to say that he wanted to find a way out. Why is this the first time he wanted to do it in a fight that he was in fact winning on the scorecards? Why is this the first time he looks for a way out? It doesn't make any sense. And he's fought way higher competition, way better fighters than Sean O'Malley. And the other thing that doesn't make any sense is, the punch to the eye that landed in the first round didn't call off the fight. Pedro didn't want out after the punch. He kept fighting and in fact won the round afterward. So he persevered through that kind of punch and still beat Sean O'Malley in that very same round. The fight stopped because of the eye poke to the right eye, not the punch to the left eye. So people saying that the fight should have been called a TKO rather than a no contest makes no sense at all. It has no logic. Because it will only be a TKO if Pedro Munoz wanted to stop the fight after the punch. He stopped after the poke, which caused injury to his eye. Actual injury, as we have proof here. And yes, it looks like it just touches his eyelid, but that was enough. Like I said before, eyes are very weak. It doesn't take much to damage them. Again, we've seen worse eye pokes not cause any damage. But now we have the Pedro Munoz case, where the poke looks like it wasn't even that bad, actually caused damage. And that's another thing. Why are people questioning Pedro Munoz's character when nobody's really questioning Sean O'Malley's character for poking him? And I agree that neither guy should be questioned here. Neither guy did really anything wrong. O'Malley did not poke him on purpose, and Pedro did not milk the injury. The reality of the fight was, an accidental eye poke caused an injury to Pedro Munoz's eye, and it was so bad that he could not continue. It's as simple as that. And Dewey also is pretty funny, we're talking about the same fighter who got his leg damaged from Marlon Vera and lost the fight because of it. But that was all a fluke, it doesn't really count as a loss, all that stuff. Yeah, he punched Pedro Munoz in the left eye so the fight should be called a TKO, but it was in fact his right eye that was damaged because of the poke. See how the logic really isn't there? Because Marlon Vera actually hurt O'Malley with a kick. Not a poke, not a low blow or something. He actually hit him with a kick which caused the damage. But that's not a real loss. O'Malley pokes Pedro Munoz, but because he thought it was a punch to the other eye, therefore it is a win. But at the end of the day, the real issue of the fight is about eye pokes and how they need to be solved. Change the gloves. That's the number one thing, but it seems like that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. The other thing is about the way that fighters are instructed to not poke the opponent. Fighters are told to bring their hands upward, and O'Malley did that. He had his hands extended open and his fingers are pointed upward. But this is actually a little bit more uncomfortable to do. And it's not as effective as just closing your fist. If you actually close your fist and pulse, you actually have more reach than if you have your hand open and your fingers pointed upward. In fact, the fist is gonna add like two inches of reach on top of that. So in my opinion, instead of fighters being instructed to keep their fingers upward, they should be instructed to close their fist instead. It's better all the way around. So finally, we can end this whole debate it was an interesting fight going into there, and I want to see a rematch between the two because it looked pretty even. O'Malley looked good. He checked a lot of the light kicks, which is very impressive from him. And Pedro Munoz is also in there. O'Malley is young. He has a lot more growth. So potentially in a rematch, he's going to look even better against Pedro. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to who would actually win this fight. So hopefully they put it together and hopefully both guys look better.